95 Sun Devils have gone on to play in the big leagues. Kipnis, Davis, Sogard, Laduca, Pedroia. But only one has gone on to play for the Arizona Diamondbacks. In the hands, driven deep left field, looking up with Soriano. Touch him all, Willie Bluefist, a homer. The young man out of Arizona State University comes home to play in the big leagues, and he has been incredible. Two teams, one state, just 12 years apart. It's the story of one man, Willie Bloomquist, Dimebacks infielder, outfielder, and one time Sun Devil from 1997 to 99. Goes with that, Coach skies it to right. Bloomquist hit 394 over his three years at ASU, the third highest in school history, but left the state after being drafted by the Seattle Mariners in the 99 amateur draft. I've wanted to, to play back here in the Valley ever since really I left ASU. Last offseason, Arizona kind of stepped, stepped up and made an offer. It was one that I knew I was going to get a chance to be at home and a chance to prove myself again and really, again, felt like home and felt like I could play well here and help this team out. You realize that's my sweetheart, right? What? My glove. Oh, glove. I have there two sweethearts, my wife and I my glove. <laughs> Off speed thing, he drills it, so it's going to be a very tough time. Oh, 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 oh. We were kind of the uh, somewhat bad boys of baseball, I guess, at that time. And, and you know, everyone hated ASU, which I, I love. Heading to the top of the eighth inning here at Rosenblatt Stadium in Omaha, 7 2 Arizona State. That was obviously a fun week. Um, didn't, didn't end the way we wanted it to, but. Uh, I'm still bummed that they didn't have the double elimination in the final game like the, the rest of the bracket, but you know, what are you going to do? I got to cut the cord, I guess, at some point in time. Hey, coach. Hold to me. Oh, hey. What if I drop one of these? Bloomquist finds pretty easy comparisons between his time at ASU and his current life with the D-backs, and in both cases, it starts on the top step of the dugout with Pat Murphy and Kirk Gibson. They're, they're very similar. They're both crusty and, and ornery, and <laughs> that's, uh, I say that with all due respect, I guess, to both of them. They, they're just, um, they're old school type players. If you get a, a group of guys that are willing to kind of go two feet in and follow that sort of personality and that sort of style of play, your team can really kind of come together and go a long way. Oh! Last year, our team chemistry was the best I've been in, you know, in pro ball to, to the point where it was literally, you know, I hate to revert back to college, but it was it was almost like a college team how we kind of got along and, and pulled, pulled, pulled for one another. And Bloomquist played no small role in the D-backs breakthrough. Gibson put him in the starting lineup and he delivered. I had a manager that trusted me and you know, put me in the leadoff hole and, and let me go and, and ran me out there pretty much every day. After signing a contract extension this offseason, the Sun Devil will continue to forge ahead right at home in the desert of Arizona. For me personally, it's you know, just keep riding the wave.